Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on installing CentOS OS on a VirtualBox on Mac. Now, before you start, there are two things that you need to have ready. Um, one is a VirtualBox manager, which you can find here at virtualbox.org. This is Oracle, and it's the most common one that people use. Just select your operating system here, download, it takes a few minutes, um, install. And then the next thing you will need is your copy of your operating system, which is CentOS for this example. And I will be using CentOS 6.6. .6. Uh, it's a slightly older version than the, the current one, but personally I just find it more stable and I'm more familiar. So for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using this version. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you open your virtual box. You click new, name your operating system, I'm called it CentOS, the type is Linux, and it is an other Linux 64 bit. Continue. For RAM, I will give it as much as is safely possible, which is anything within this green bar. I want to create a virtual hard drive now. I want a virtual machine to be created. I will have it dynamically sized. The size of the file will depend on what you will be doing. If you're going to create very heavy applications, you will need to increase this. But for the sake of a demo, I will just leave it at default. And there you go. You have a basic shell. Next thing you need to do is go to your settings. Under general, we just leave basic, advanced, and description we can leave untouched as defaults. System again, these can remain as defaults. Again, processor. Sometimes you need more processors or CPUs depending on what you're doing. Again, for this example, I will just leave it at default. Same with acceleration. Display, you can leave as default. Storage. Now, for storage, we need to point to our operating system. So I need to choose a virtual CD DVD disk file and what I will do is I will navigate to my copy of CentOS. Click open. Gain audio. We don't need to change. Network. Here we will need to change the network adapter to bridged. This will be key in enabling your virtual machine to connect to the internet, which is what we will need to download further patches and other bits of support software. Ports will remain the same. Shared folders, we will not be sharing any folders between the virtual machine or the host machine. And once you've done all of these, you can press OK. And once that's done, we can press start. And once you get to this machine, you will, once you press start, you will be greeted by this first run, I guess, window. What you do is you press tab, space, expert, space, text. What this will do is it will give you a GUI free install so it will ask you less questions and you can run through it much quicker. Obviously for some of this install some parts will be slower and some parts will be quicker so for the sake of keeping the tutorial short I might speed up some of these. Here, we do not do, need to do a media test, so I will just skip. Welcome to CentOS. I will be using English, UK. And here I want to reinitialize all. 
system clock remains as UTC. I am in Europe, so I will keep European time. Password can be anything you want here. Here it has warned me that my password is weak. It's okay. And here I want to use entire drive. And I want to confirm my changes. And it's done, so we need to just go into a reboot. And if you press escape here, it will give you standard output of what's going on. On the hard drive, but that is fine. And the login is always root. Password is the weak one that I created, and voila, here we go. And next, because we will be installing a full desktop operating system, we will need connection to the internet. So, the first thing we need to do is check that we have internet connection, and we do that by pinging a safe website, which I think has never gone down, is the BBC. And you can see here that there is no connection, um, so we need to configure a couple of the um, system files before we can carry on. So I clear that. The first one you need to edit is this one, which is the resolve. And what we need to do in here is put in the name server that the virtual machine will connect to in order to connect to the internet. And the name server that they will be connecting to will be this Mac. So if you go to your Mac system preferences network and then you will see here is the IP that you will need to connect to. So if you just enter that here don't need that and you write that file. The next file we need to change is the network file. And what I do is I just change this to example.com. Then the next file we need to change is the IF config file, so if we just head to network scripts folder network controlled we do not need it to be network controlled uh, on boot, yes we want it to configure on boot we can remove hardware address, ethernet, uh, unique ID, and we can leave the rest. Then the next file we want to edit will be the security file for Linux. And we want to disable the Linux setting to disabled. And then once this is done, we need to turn off the fastest mirror option, uh, purely because it means any kind of installs that we do just generally take too long. Then we need to turn off the configuration setting that will check 
um, the IP settings on installs because we've just changed them so we actually don't need them anymore and then once we're done with that we need to reinitialize re network or restart for these settings to take effect and hopefully we should have an OK message here and now if we ping uh, BBC we should hopefully have connection and voila I'll just clear the screen off so if you head on over to my next tutorial which is all about installing a desktop environment for this operating system thanks for watching